Welcome back to my kitchen. If you are new here, my name is Christine. Today we are going to make sweet and sour meatballs or what is also referred to as pineapple meatballs. And I got this recipe from a great YouTube channel called Feeding the Birds. So if you don't already know who she is, check her out. I highly recommend her. We are going to make that recipe today. And the reason I'm doing it is because my friend purchased a half cow and yesterday she gifted me a bunch of meat from her cow. She just gave me a whole box full of meat. It's now in my freezer and I'm so grateful. So as part of a thank you, I am going to make her dinner tonight along with us. So I'm just going to double this recipe and deliver dinner to Jennifer. Let's go. The first thing I am going to do is get some rice cooking so that can be going and we don't have to worry about it. The next thing we need for this recipe is crushed pineapple. I don't have it, but I do have these tidbits. So I am going to use my handy dandy pole chopper and turn it into crushed pineapple. And I'm also going to reserve the juice because we will be using that for the sauce. And just like that, we now have crushed pineapple. The other thing I need for this recipe is a bunch of chopped garlic. I am doubling this recipe, so I will link down below in the description box the full written recipe for a single batch, which is using one pound of ground beef. Beautiful, grass-fed, grass-finished, homegrown cow. Breadcrumbs, the crushed pineapple, milk, soy sauce. The recipe calls for green onions. I'm just using chives from the garden. Garlic. And ginger. I'm using fresh. I keep it in the freezer because it's really easy to grate that way. I'm just going to get this nicely combined. Who doesn't love a clean work surface? This works out perfectly. We have 30 meatballs, so each family can get 15. These are just going to go into a 500 degree oven. The girl from Feeding the Birds channel said she cooked these at 500 degrees for 15 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to keep an, a close eye because it's a very high temperature. I don't want to burn them and I didn't see how many meatballs she got out of her pound of meat so I don't know what size hers were so I do want to be careful with that. It has been 15 minutes and I think they are going to be perfect. I'm just going to let them hang out there for a few minutes while we throw together the sauce. This is my all-time favorite pan that I own. It's hex clad. I can link it down below. It's probably on the large side for what I'm making today, but I do want to fit all of the meatballs in here nicely, so I'm going with it. But I use this thing, not every day of course, but many times a week, and I love hex clad and everything about their products. Of everything I own of hex clad, this is probably my favorite. So we need soy sauce water, brown sugar, 
pineapple juice that we took from the can of the pineapples, more fresh garlic, and more grated fresh ginger. I broke my silicone spatula, so I'm using this. I don't recommend these products because this always comes detached and they end up breaking. Don't buy these. You know, I only recommend products to you that I absolutely love, trust, and use on the daily. And even though I use these on the daily that I have, I do not recommend them. I can already tell, you can, I can already feel like when I shake it, it's loose, it feels like it's gonna fly off. So now I'm just heating this up. This, after all, turns out to be the perfect pan for this. I stand corrected, but I'm just getting this all combined and getting that sugar dissolved. I'd like to bring it up to just a little simmer, and then we are going to thicken it with some cornstarch and water. If you ever want to thicken anything, just use equal parts, cornstarch and water. For today's recipe, it's two tablespoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. While we are waiting on this, let me just show you. I'm getting the package ready to deliver to my friend for her dinner for her family. And I'll put the rice and the meatballs right in this container and put a cover on it. And she already has lettuce. I don't have any extra lettuce on hand, but I do have some stuff for my garden. So I'm giving her a tomato and a couple cucumbers and she's going to put together a salad and I made her some homemade dressing that I whipped up really quick with red wine vinegar, oil, salt, pepper, sugar, and a little bit of Hellman's olive oil mayo to make it a creamy dressing. If you've seen any of my videos, I make this in my sleep. Super easy, super fresh, super simple. Okay, we do have a little simmer going on. Okay, that is starting to thicken up nicely. So I'm just cutting the heat. Let's get the meatballs back in. This works out perfectly because my friend, she is really busy tonight and she's not gonna be home until a little bit later with her family. And if I can do something to make her life a little bit easier, I'm all about it. Like I said, I saw this on Feeding the Birds B-Y-R-D-S, and it, her recipes look phenomenal, so I'm sure it's gonna be great. I hate to admit this, but I am obsessed with paper towels. I love Bounty paper towels way too much. I think the reason I like paper towels so much is because they're sanitary, whereas, you know, using a washcloth over and over or a towel just kind of grosses me out. So I know this is super wasteful, but I can't help but it's my like obsession. Here's another spoon from the collection that I do not like, but I have to use it because of the silicone so I don't ruin this beautiful pan. Let's get this covered up and delivered to the amazing Jennifer. Those birds out there, can you hear that? Okay, real quick, I wanna give this a taste test. I already delivered it to my friend and hopefully it's good. Let's see what we think. Cheers. Mm. Wow. I love this so much. Thank you to Feeding the Birds for this great, great recipe. It's a super easy, super quick, but excellent weeknight meal. And it makes a great gift for someone. I just wanna say thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.